What's going on guys? So we have made our way out to a very, very interesting area of, uh, of the display out here. And this is the Red Arc display. So Red Arc is a, it's a company some people may be very familiar with, but then some people may know absolutely nothing about. And I featured Red Arc products on the channel before. So with me today, I have, what was your name again? Mark Bruce from I, Red Arc. I have Mark Bruce from Red Arc and he is, are you from, I know you're from Australia. Yeah. Do you live here in the States though? No, I'm from Australia. Oh, so you flew yeah. over. So yes, you had a heck yeah. of a flight to get yes, here for this. Yeah. Very cool. So this is a product again I've used before and they have several different products so i can't say i've used them all i'm going to give mark an opportunity to talk about some of the products from red arc and what they're able to do for you mark go ahead yeah excellent thank you well hi folks my name is mark bruce from red arc electronics and yes i am from australia here today at the e-trailer tow week we're talking about brake controllers and in particular, our Topro models. So we have two models. We have a Topro Liberty and a Topro Elite. The Topro Elite is our flagship. This is our number one selling product. Not only does it have a fully proportional braking mode, but it also has an off-road user control mode. And the unique thing about our brake controllers is the switch is all you see on the dash. So all of the electronics are hidden up underneath the dash where you don't see them. So the switch is all you see and you simply turn it to suit your particular weight of your trailer and then if you're traveling down the road and you start to sway from side to side you simply press the override button and that'll apply the brakes on the trailer independent of the vehicle bringing your trailer back under control it's really unique we have a number of different wiring harnesses to suit the plug and play to a number of different vehicles and uh, we also have a number of different switch blank options to help you you know install it the best way possible on your truck Okay, so compared to a traditional brake controller that has, you know, the ability for you to squeeze a little thumb lever yep. and dial in your gain, how would you work this, let's say, if you're going through some inclement weather and you really want to manually apply the brakes to your trailer? Yeah, so all you do with the Red Arc controller is simply press that button. Okay. It'll apply the brakes on the trailer independent of the vehicle, stretching the trailer away from your truck and bringing the trailer back under control. Okay, so you still get that proportional brake control Abs aspect. Absolutely, yeah. Very, very cool. From an aftermarket installation perspective, how difficult is that to replace or uh, to use with different various types of vehicles? Um, what's the installation like on it? So installation is really easy. We have a number of plug and play harnesses to connect directly with the connectors that are there from the OE manufacturer. We have a number of different switch blank options to help you install it. Installation is a breeze. It's you know generally somewhere around the 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, so this is their brake controller, but you all offer a really cool solution for charging the battery as well on an RV. It's a DC to DC charger. So yes. do you want to go over that real quick? Yeah, sure. I've got one just here. One that we've opened up to help display the product. Sorry, it is really windy yeah, out really here, windy folks. Guys. So um, this is an open up version of our DC to DC in vehicle chargers. We have one in particular that we've released in the US recently, and that's the BCDC 1212T. It's the only in vehicle charging device that's able to charge an, a trailer mounted auxiliary battery through the seven way connector. And we've done that by limiting the input current to a maximum 12 amps. Okay. By doing so, we still deliver a battery specific um, charging algorithm to suit your particular battery. So today you may have an AGM, but you can also change the setting on this unit to suit a lithium battery in the future. Okay, so you say that this actually can go through the 12, or sorry, the seven way connector yes, sir. on the vehicle. So on some vehicles like Ford Super Duties and even some newer GM and, and Ram vehicles, yeah. the, uh, the CAN bus in the vehicle determines when charging can take place. Yes. Does this offer kind of an override to that or how does that work in conjunction with the CAN bus on vehicles which sometimes limits the flow yeah, of power? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we actually have a, uh, a blue ignition trigger section on oh, this unit. Oh, okay. So we can overcome the, uh, the variable voltage um, smart alternators that are on these modern day vehicles and we will ensure that we continue to charge the auxiliary battery as long as the truck is being driven. That is very cool. So it's not voltage sensing anymore. You just pull off the, uh, it, it turns on yeah. when you plug it into the, uh, yeah. the auxiliary yeah. on the vehicle. We just lower the on and off threshold so the unit will ensure it's working and charging whilst the vehicle is being driven. Very cool, very cool. Anything else you want to talk about while we're out here at your booth before I ask you a mystery question? <laughs> yeah, look, um, it's not just uh, 
brake controllers or in vehicle chargers that we do. We do battery management systems. We do total vehicle ma management systems. We do solar. We do inverters. If it's got a battery and it moves, we can probably do something for it. That's cool. So I'm going to ask you actually two questions. I thought of another one. Okay. So uh, I was at the Elkhart RV dealer show last week. Yeah. And I got to see some really cool off-grid RVs, some uh, overland RVs. One in particular was a new one from a company called Palomino called The Paws. Okay. Now, Australia is known for their overland RVs. Your you. caravans, yes. right? Yeah, yeah. Which one's your favorite brand and why? Oh, that's a, that's a tough one. Um, look, we do a lot with um, uh, lots of manufacturers. Um, you know, if I had to pick one, you know, in, in Australia, we've got a pretty good relationship with guys from Patriot. You know, they make a really tough mm -hmm. uh, overlanding rig. So possibly one of those, I'd, I'd say. Yeah. Okay, very cool. And yeah. I'm not familiar with the brand, but it's certainly, uh, it's always good to know because I have a huge following yeah. from Australia. And they're always like, if you want to see real off-grid, off-road, rugged, overland RVs, yeah. you need to come to Australia. But there's so many good brands that we've got over here in the yeah. US. You know? And they're, they're starting to become oh, more wow. popular yeah, as well. Definitely. That's really cool. Yeah. Final question. Okay. Is Bluey as popular in Australia as it is here in the States? Bluey. Bluey, the cartoon. Bluey, copper digger, Bluey, mate. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My daughter loves that, and I just yeah. don't know. But it is a super cool cartoon if you haven't uh, seen it. The yeah. kids love it. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you. Well, thank you, Mark. I really appreciate your time. Awesome. Thank you so much. Definitely. Definitely check out Red Arc products. Um, from a quality perspective, they're probably one of the most premium products you can buy in terms of just quality control how they build their products they're designed to last and uh, you guys build you have a great reputation yeah, which yeah. is we awesome we design and manufacture in adelaide south australia and with our dc to dc chargers they're all fully encapsulated in a two-part silicon elastomer you know these this unit here is protected against moisture dust and vibration you can put that in a bucket of water and it'll still work that is super awesome. You know, it's funny, when I installed one of these on a trailer, the thing actually fell and hit the ground really hard, and I was afraid something would, would have broken in it, but I, I don't think, it'd it take a lot more than that to break yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, these have come loose when, when uh, vehicles have been crossing the Gibb River Road, an extremely uh, treacherous um, uh, road in, in Australia, and they've come loose and bounced along the road for like 100 kilometers. And the best part is, they kept working. That's crazy. That really is. Thank you. Well, again, thank you, Mark, for your time. Really appreciate You're it. You're welcome. Thank you. Guys, let's move on to the next booth. Okay, guys, so we are at our next display here, and this is the Firestone Ride Right Air Spring Display. Super cool product. Um, very, very popular amongst folks who tow trailers, RVs, and even as an OEM product in a lot of Class Bs. I've seen your product all over the place, actually. So today we got Mark with Firestone. How are you doing today? I'm great. Thank you. Great. So, um, real quick, you want to take a moment and just kind of talk about your product line if you have on display here? Sure, yeah, we have uh, applications for most of our half, three-quarter, one-ton vehicles, uh, mainly pickups, um, but then we also have our coil ride air springs that go into most of the CUV and SUV applications that run a coil spring versus a leaf system. Uh, we also have our onboard air compressor systems for both the analog and the wireless setups, uh, depending on what the customer is looking for. Okay, so one of the topics I usually point out in my videos um, is related to payload capacity. Mm -hmm. Airbags don't increase your payload capacity, right? They just level out your ride. They Correct. make your ride more stable, reduce sway, that type of thing, right? Correct, 100%. So we recommend that you never exceed your gross vehicle weight recommendation on the vehicle. So most of our air springs on the double convoluted side for the half, three quarter, one tons are designed to only uh, run up to 5,000 pounds of carrying capacity. But for the three quarter and one tons, which we have over here, these are, uh, for the three quarter one tons, are rated up to 7,500 pounds of carrying capacity and 150 PSI max. Okay, and when we talk about payload, let's say, like, like you mentioned, 5,000 pounds worth of carrying capacity. And what that means essentially is, is let's say you have this half ton truck in front of us and has 1,600 pounds worth of cargo capacity. Mm -hmm. This bag can technically support up to 5,000 pounds or the system, Correct. but you're not going to want to exceed the 1,600 pounds that the manufacturer lists on the door sticker of the truck. So Absolutely. it's just showing you the safe threshold that these can lift up to. Correct. Now, a lot of people do. They will use the bag to lift up more than they, they feel. They'll load it up with concrete beyond the specs, and they use that to level it out. But then you run into the scenario of, are you overloading your tires? Are you overloading your axle? Are you overloading the unsprung weight that is, that is now having forces applied to it from the airbag? So 
I always like to hear the answer that you gave. You never want to exceed what the truck was rated for. This stuff just helps you have a better overall and a safer overall towing experience and hauling experience whenever you're using them in conjunction with the recommended ratings of the truck itself. Absolutely, yeah. So for the, all of these, this, this, these airbag systems are basically designed to level the vehicle while you're towing. Um, they're not to lift the vehicle above factory ride height. Uh, it's mainly just to return the vehicle uh, to factory, uh, the factory settings based on the load capacity that you're carrying. Yep. And what I like is, you know, there are some brands that market their airbags as you don't need a bigger truck. But Correct. that's not necessarily the way you want to market it because that makes some people believe you've turned a half ton into a one ton in terms of its capacity. And that's not the point of airbags. Absolutely. So I really appreciate that, Mark. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. So yeah, we are going to go ahead and end this video. It is so cool seeing all the employees out here just really getting interested in the products and the solutions that these companies have brought out to talk about because it just really helps you all as customers whenever you call to be able to get good answers to your questions because these employees here are taking the time to learn and truly understand how this stuff works. And I think that's really important. Anyways, guys, please uh, subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up and we'll talk to you again very soon.